Hi, I'm Pat Gill Weber from eCoach. Welcome to our video blog. I want to share a story with you uh, that happened to me several weeks ago. I had a set of friends who gave me a call wanting to get into the French Laundry, which is a well-known restaurant in the Napa Valley. And my husband and I happen to have some contacts there and are able to do that. So I contacted the French Laundry and asked them if they could get our friends in. And then, of course, in the rush of things, you know, didn't know exactly when I'd follow up, but of course I knew I would be following up. It dawned on me about a week later, gee, I better follow up and find out what exactly is going on with my friend's reservation. But when I got to my desktop and my email and I was slipping through, lo and behold, I see the French Laundry has actually contacted me to tell me exactly what was going on with my friend's reservation. The reality was they did their job when I delegated to them. But it was still my job to follow up with them because I accepted the responsibility from my friends to help them out of this dilemma. And what does this mean for you? When you're working in any situation, follow up is so key. Follow up on the result because once you accept responsibility and own some issue, whether it's to take a, make a list of meeting notes or follow up with one of your clients about something. Even though you delegate it, and delegate it well to someone else, that's very, very competent. In my case, delegating to the French Laundry, you don't get more competent than that. But it's still your responsibility to make sure that the result is achieved. In this case, my friends went to the French Laundry, had a ball, and our friendship was strengthened. In your case, it may just be you've made the sale, taking care of a work assignment in a special way, or just felt really good knowing that you went beyond the expectations of others to really follow through all the time. Doesn't matter what you're doing at work, follow through is key.